Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, real quickly, just going to do an overlay matchup shot play of the day. Uh, best of luck to everybody that's out there. I want to encourage you guys to continue to uh, sign up for overlay. If you haven't played on it yet and you want to sign up for it today, we'll give you a free membership to the five pack. You know, go as high as a thousand dollar deposit uh, as for a first time player. We'll give you a free lifetime membership. Just want to do 50. Completely understand that as well. We'll give you a free two weeks. Completely up to you how you want to handle it. We'd love to have you guys come aboard. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just kind of run through today. We got baseball up. Uh, the one that I'm looking at, go in here, enter the matchup shot. Let's pick baseball. They're probably going to be coming with some hitters lately, I would imagine. Um, there's two up here I actually kind of like. I don't want to touch the Cole Bieber one. These guys are both so good uh, that I'm just going to leave this one alone right now. I think Bieber is obviously the better DFS guy at the current moment. Uh, but he's got to go up against the Yankees versus Garrett Cole against the Indians. So I'll leave that one alone. All right, give me Lucas Giolito over Lazardo. He's just a, a better DFS pitcher, a little bit more seasoned and veteran. I think the White Sox lineup is better. So I'll definitely, I got some money on Giolito myself. And if you look at the top one right here, I, I know Grinky's plus two, but to me, Kenta Maeda, uh, even at, you know, being spotted, or spotting Grinky two points. I like Maeda in this situation as well. Uh, I'll put some money down on that one to boot. For me, he's just the better pitcher. He's got higher strikeout upside. The Twins lineup, at least for this year, you know, no trash cans is better than the Astros. Uh, everybody in the Astros is playing terrible right now. It's a get-up spot for both teams, but I just don't know that Houston has it in them right now. They definitely have seem to have like, like that defeatist attitude. You know, if you're looking for some intangibles, Maeda's been pissed the last couple of years. The Dodgers haven't given him a starting spot in the playoffs, so I think he's even extra motivated today. If you believe in stuff like that, that's up to you. So for me personally, I'll put a few bucks on Maeda. I'll put a few bucks on Giolito, and then I'll also parlay it as well. Uh, worst case scenario, I expect to win one on a two. Uh, best case scenario, we win all three of them. So that's what I got for today, guys. Uh, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, continue to watch these, and look for some hitting matchups to come out later. That could be a little fun as well. I love the hitting matchups where I feel like the guys are even, but you're getting spotted a point. You know what I mean? Because then even if both guys you know, get one single or go over, you can win that matchup. That's my personal thoughts on it. When it comes to picking hitters, I definitely prefer the situation where you take the guy that is being spotted the point uh, because it's very easy to take zeros in baseball. I've won multiple hitting contests this year just by that, uh, where you know both guys got zero, but because I was spotted two points, you know I came out the victor. So that's the way I view it. Uh, best of luck today. Uh, enjoy everything for fantasy today, and we'll see you guys later for some basketball and whatnot.